Originally, when I was ill with the disease, my body had become so weakened that I was being, for a few months, I was being pushed around in a wheelchair. I didn't have the strength to push myself. Three months after the end of my treatment, I started to ride a bicycle again. And after about six months or so, I had been able to cycle about a thousand miles. My story starts in 2011. I originally approached the doctor regarding prostatitis. It turned out that ultimately we did um, a test and it showed up protein in my urine. But in the meantime, I became very sick. Symptoms started with uh, nausea, vomiting, extreme fatigue. The severity of the vomiting was increasing my legs and my feet became very swollen with fluid and it was um, it was becoming more and more difficult to to vomit and that put a lot of pressure behind my eyes and i burst all the blood vessels on either side of uh, my eyes so it left me with severe bruising which you've seen in the photograph and it was as a result of that that i was admitted to the emergency room at the hospital. I was admitted for two weeks where they carried out a number of blood tests, skeletal x-rays, but they only got a diagnosis after they did a kidney biopsy that there was evidence of uh, amyloid in the blood, which confirmed that I had amyloidosis. They gave me a lifeline because before I went there, I hadn't read any stories about people making good recoveries into remission. I was coming back to a hospital on the train and I thought one day I would like to ride my bicycle back here. So that was, that was a big deal because I lost a lot of weight. So I was very weak. After the treatment had finished, I was going to try riding a bicycle again. To begin with, I did one mile and then five miles. Within six months, I cycled about a thousand miles and um, I still attended the National Amyloid Centre in London and they would monitor my progress. After maybe six months, they said that I was in remission. And I should say that three years after that first visit to London, I rode my bicycle from Dunfermline in Scotland to London and that was a journey of 507 miles over six days. I was smiling all the way through it because I had been given another chance at life. <laughs>